Now, the hook I'm going to be using is this one here. This is uh, the Fully Milk. It's uh, Ultimate Dry uh, Black Nickel. Uh, this is a, a size 14, which is quite a good, a big uh, hook. For a, it's more a 12 than I'd say a 14. Uh, it's ideal for the for the Hawthorne. Thread I'm just going to be obviously using the black and this is Uni 8 We have waxed the thread. Put a good layer of thread all the way down the shank. Before I get to the bend, I'll remove the waist. We take the thread just slightly, coming around the bend a wee bit. Now, this is a uh, dyed black. Well, basically, what we've got here, this is CDC, white CDC, and this one's from, I mean, it should be uh, Quicksilk, Fly Thine, and basically just dyed, got a packet and dyed. You can, I'm sure you maybe even do black. So, but if you, if you haven't, it's quite easy to dye black, which I've done. Now, I need the white as well for the wing. So, basically, what I do here is single turn around the base of the the feather, pull it into the tip, as close as you can go, tighten up, and you work your way up. Now in the Hawthorne the thorax is really pronounced, so just slightly over halfway, and then we wind the CDC feather up. Now, stem's really strong, so it will last. If you want to wind it over some varnish or some super glue, then do that. So we tighten up, trim away. Now, obviously, with the remains of this CDC feather, we trim away these fibres. We're going to be using them for the, the thorax. So we trim them, just lay them on your desk, trim them off. And maybe I've got two or three I've tied, so I've got two or three feathers lying here that need trim, so I'll just do them just now. So just lay them on your desk, you've got so your, your dubbing on your legs for the front anyway, and to represent the thorax. Now, the wing of the, the Hawthorne does catch the light and you get a lovely sort of pearl light shine from it, so I'm going to put a single strand of this just pearl flash. Just lay it on the top. Just taking it down three or four turns, pulling it back. Just sit this under the wing, and you want it longer than, obviously, as, as long as the hook. If you imagine that, that will be the length of the hook. So, but it's over the back of the, the shank here, as you can see. Two CDC feathers. These are just the ones I showed you there. Just going to tie them in by the tip. Just lay one on top of the other. Make sure the tips are lined up. Just pull them in. Lay them the length of the, the pearl and then a couple of turns. Now, just make sure the wax on my thread, make sure you have plenty of grip there, trim away. Anything going forward, just trim it back. I'm just going to tidy this up, come back up to the wing, and then we tie in some. We've got pre knotted pheasant tail legs, it's just a dyed black. I'm going to put four on because this helps to basically put the fly, balance the fly on the surface. So we've got four, take a tear away from the feather, just to lay them either side. Now the Hawthorne has only got two long legs hanging off the back. As I say, I'm adding a, an extra on either side just to basically help float the fly. Uh, tie them on the sides. Right, look, uh, position where you want before you go any further. Just seeing where they are, looks okay. Again, just make sure they're tied in. Just break these off because they're well tied down. Then we go back to our, this is the, the remains of our CDC feather. And feathers, there's a couple was worth there. So, and don't be shy, the thorax of the, the hawthorn is very pronounced. So we just lightly dub, dub this on. Got a wee fibre here, I don't know what that is. Take it away. Just lightly dub it on so it's quite loose. Just slide it up. Now what I'm going to do here is, I usually take the thread down 
to the eye, or close to the eye, about head length away from the eye, and I work my way up and then just build it. Because when you go to add your floating on this fly, you want it to be soaking into the, the CDC. I mean, this CDC obviously has been dyed, so the, the natural oils have been taken away. So basically, you'll need to. Well, I'll obviously make it water repellent then. CDC will take it. So what I'll probably do is just as we come back down the thorax, just stretch out the CDC dubbing, stroke it back as you get near the eye, just pull it back. And just take your time. And then leave it varnish onto your thread. At this point, just this will seal your butt finish. One, two, three, four. So that finished in, trim that away. Now the dubbin's just a wee bit tight, so it's quite simple just to lift it out with the CD, the piece of velcro, sorry. So watch your legs. Just what you do is just hold your legs and your ring out of the way, your finger and thumb. Just well cover them up. Now you do this, stroke it back, and there we are, and that's the, the Hawthorne, or the CDC version. Now, keep it like this, I mean you can lift these fibres up, so it'll be a bit flatter when you add your floating on, just lift up the fibres, uh, but the, 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 shape, the silhouette or the shape of this, this uh, fly is what the fish will be looking for, and you're targeting obviously a rising fish. And there we are. Hopefully the Hawthorne will be as good as last year. Uh, it was a great hatch last year, it did really well. So I'm tying up quite a few to make sure the box is full. They're also, the, with the CDC you can tie the lasers, this is a small black, the wee knots. A wee simple knot, tied very much the, much the same, single CDC, white one there. Where the obviously the CDC wound on the body, dubbing in the front, uh, obviously a bit smaller. But black knots, another great fly to have. So, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoy the videos, please subscribe. Uh, it is free. And thank you for watching.